Good day. So today is going to be our um, third day ng ating work from home challenge. So apologize for the background noise. Um, so let's recall. So for the first day, we created your own your online resume. Um, you found out how to upload it on Google Drive and create a, a shortened Bitly link. So that's the first day. For the second day, we created our um, or we updated and created your LinkedIn profile. And for today, we're going to create or update your online jobs and Upwork profiles. So, um, we are now on the onlinejobs.ph website. So, again, that's onlinejobs.ph. And um, this is what it looks like when you go to their website. So, here on the um, left-hand side, you'll see the most recent resumes created. Um, on, the, on the right side are the most recent jobs posted. Um, what we have to do if you haven't created your um, your profile yet is to hold on um, okay is to click on sign up here on the upper right hand side just click on sign up and of course you'll choose I want to work because I want to hire means you are an employer so if you wanted to be a freelancer then it should be i want to work and just enter your details here your, your full name your email address your password and um yeah check check necessary um things here and register so i will sign up uh, later on on the for upwork naman this is how it looks like on the on the home page um, just click on sign up again it's on the upper right hand side click on sign up and I suggest to sign in with Google so sign in with Google and then um, let's say gamitin ko tong account na to. let's say this one kasi dami email ko lang yan. let's say lang ha and of course you'll choose Philippines and you will select I want to work as a freelancer and then you ch you click this and you want to uncheck this if you don't want to receive updates but of course you can check that and just click on create my account so that's all you have what you have to do if you if you're just about to create or sign up for upwork and online jobs.ph so now I'm going to log in now let me just log into my profiles hold on Alrighty, so I just signed up or signed in to my account. So I'm now on Upwork. So this is what my profile looks like on Upwork. And um, on the first line, of course, your full name. Um, this check means that my account is fully verified. Um, it means I submitted a valid ID and had a chat with or a call with um, one of the Upwork um, support. And meron tayong pa rising talent dito sa side. Um, our picture, of course, anything casual, yung siempre yung ikaw lang magisa sa picture. Uh, it uh, has to be a headshot and um, um, medyo may sa yung background. So, tulad nung kahapon, when I, I showed you how you can um, remove a background on, on your picture. You can use that too. Again, that's remove.pg. And then, of course, um, itong profile settings, I haven't checked this before, but, okay, so the visibility. So, if you want to set it on, on only Upwork users, on private, public, so akin naka-public siya. And it's up to you if you want to show your full name or just your initial, your first name and initial. So, project preference, gusto mo ba ng long-term lang, short-term lang, or both? So, I selected both. And um, so let's go back to my profile. Um, so dito nakikita ang location. So it's my old location actually. Haven't updated it yet. Now I moved to General Trias Cavite. Um, this is the local time here. And dito naman sa profiles, uh, bago, I think bagong update to ni Upwork na you can select or you can create um, as much a specialized profile for a niche for example multiple ang niche mo let's say you have a niche in um you have skills in social media you have skills in customer support so you can create separate niche for for each tul um ako naman dalawa lang yung profile ko of course the general profile and then my virtual um my real estate uh, profile 
So, yun lang naman. And then, let's go back to the general profile. Pero ngayon kasi, pag nag apply ako, laging itong general profile pa rin yung ginagamit ko. And okay naman yung responses. I mean, of course, hindi 100% nagre-respond, pero maraming nagre-respond. And um, tulad nung, um, dun sa content naman ng profile mo, ito, um, yung sa summary, tulad dun sa LinkedIn, um, kinapi ko lang to actually, from here to LinkedIn. So, same, lahat ng profiles ko, pare-pareho lang yan. Um, iisa lang yung laman yan. And, um, in-explain ko na rin kahapon na I wanted to uh, put it this way kasi mas madaling makita ng clients kung ano yung mga skills ko and kung saan areas ko sila matutulungan kesa magbasa pa sila ng isang mahabang paragraph to figure it out. So, mas prefer kung ganyan siya, nakabulit na siya. I mean, I'm not saying na gayahin yung ganito. Pwede niya siguro ibahin yung, yung way. Siyempre, wag nyo naman totally copy-paste, no? Mahalata naman siguro. But then, um, par gawin nyo lang guide. So, ayun. Tapos, gawan nyo lang sila ng, um, yung mga relevant experiences nyo. Gawan nyo lang ng short, um, or brief explanation or, or um, yeah, description dito sa baba. Ganun lang yung ginawa ko, ha. I'm not saying na gawin nyo to. But, just, um, this is, ano yung, kung ano yung ginawa ko dun sa profile ko. Dito naman, please video, um, yeah, we can, uh, create a video. Um, meron akong, meron akong ginawang video before. Um, not sure if I can show it to you. Let me, let me check if I can. Um, hold on. Okay, so nakita ko na yung video. Um, ginawa ko tong video na to kasi meron ako in-apply ang isa sa onlinejobs.ph na nag-require ng isang video introduction. So, I created this video um, and actually, napili ako nung client. So, yeah, I think it's, it's a huge, um, uh, parang isang malaking factor yun kaya ako napili. Kasi yung, you know, the confidence and, um, Ando na rin yung nagsasalita ako. Nagsasalita ako so the, the the client knows how I sound over the phone. So things like that. Um pag na-download na to, I'll show you. So nagda-download pa siya, din na-download ko pa kasi in-upload ko siya sa Google Drive and hindi ko siya ma-view ngayon. Um so yeah, so ganun lang and then dito naman of course yung hourly rate. Pagdating sa hourly rate, marami nagtatanong na magkano ba ang rate? Magkano ko ba dapat ipresyohan yung rate ko? Parang ganun, di ba? Mostly yung mga nagsisimula pa lang. Um, what I can say is, uh, just, ikaw, it's up to you. Kasi ikaw nakakaalam mo sa, nakakaalam sa, kaya mong i-offer, di ba? So, I mean, it's really up to you kung magkano gusto nyo yung i-rate. On my, in my, um, in my own experience, nag-start ako sa $3.50 hanggang naging $4, $5, $6, $7, hanggang naging $10 hourly rate na. <coughs> Sorry. So, dito sa sa right side, syempre kung nubi ka, hindi mo pa makikita yan kasi nandyan yung mga um, kung gano'n na karami yung <clears throat> hindi ako gano'n ka-updated or ka-active ka sa Upwork. <laughs> Medyo masakit lalamunin ko. Ah. Hold on. Okay, so, medyo nabulunan lang ako. <laughs> okay, so, 2K earned. Um, hindi ako ganun ka-active ka sa Upwork kasi lagi akong out of Upwork. Naka-direct client lang ako. So, ito lang. And then, kung ilang jobs na natrabaho mo and kung ilang hours ka na nag-work dito sa Upwork lang yan. Ha. Dito naman sa popular projects, um, it, ilag nakalagay dito, showcase custom projects on your profile to attract more clients. So, ang ginawa ko, nag-customize ako ng mga project-based tasks na pwede kong gawin. Um, let's see how it looks like sa side ni client. So, pwede nyo click din yan sa profile nyo. View how others see it. So, ganito siya. Tulad nito, for example, sa cold calling campaign. Sabi ko dito, I will cold call or set appointments for you. Price depends on the number of hours required. So, if 10 hours, $100. So, 20 hours, $180. 30 hours, $210. 40 hours, $240. And then, they can just start an offer right here. They don't have to invite you on their job post or anything. They can just start an offer. <clears throat> so, pwede nyo rin gawin yan. And of course, dito sa baba, ito naman ay work history and feedback. So, syempre, kung wala, kayong, wala pa kayong job, wala kayong makikita dito, but it 
uh, ito yung mga current kong, um, ito yung nasa taas, yung job in progress, yan yung mga current. And dito naman sa baba, ito yung mga luma na. <clears throat> And of course, kung may rating kayo, much better. Gustong-gusto natin itong mga 5-star rating na ito. Kasi, it will, um, it will boost our profile. And avoid na magkaroon kayo ng mababang rate dahil yung mga client nakikita nila yan. So, ba diba? So, syempre, much better kung mataas yung rate mo. And mas mataas yung, yung possibility na i-hire ka ng mga future na mong a-apply yan. Or, uh, mataas ang possibility na i-invite in, ka for jobs. <clears throat> Dito naman sa portfolio, nilagay ko lang dyan is yung mga screenshots mostly ng mga tools na ginamit ko na before and yung mga projects na ginawa ko na before. For example, ito, screenshot ng Mojo Dialer which I used for my cold calling campaigns uh, before. Um, ito naman is gawa ko to for, um, ay, na-download. Na um, so, okay, let's see. Ay, hindi ko siya ma-open. But anyway, um, ga gamit ko Canva dito nung paggawa nito. Uh, it's an infographic or an ad. Pwede, um, binoposto ng mga clients ko na nagbabay and sell ng house. Um, ito naman, ganun din, sa Canva pa din. Um, ito, screenshot ng spreadsheet, and yan. So, mostly ganun lang din. Dito sa social media manager task ko, ito, profile picture na ginawa ko for a client. Um, in-edit ko rin to using remove that PG and Canva, and uh, medyo malabo lang dito kasi yung pag-upload niya, hindi, ewan ko, what happened. Um, and then, yung mga ginawa kong graphics din sa Canva. So, if, you, if you're bored, I mean, I suggest na um, mag-Canva kayo kasi maubos talaga yung oras nyo. Nakakatuwa kasi mag, mag, um, gumawa ng mga graphics doon. So, kung mahilig kayo sa design, um, gumawa ng mga ganyan, ba? Diba? Pwede nyo gamitin din, of course, sa account nyo and sa paggawa ng mga cover photos. So, ayun. And then, sa skills, always, uh, i-enter nyo lang dyan, isalin nyo lang dyan yung mga skills na meron kayo, of course, na alam nyo. And then, sa employment history, the same thing. Um, yung role nyo dun sa company na yon, yung company, yung duration, and a short description of the task or the job uh, on that same position. Sa education naman, highly suggest high school and college uh, education lang. And if you have certifications, academic certifications, anything, work certifications, um, mga volunteer, kung nag-volunteer kayo somewhere, um, ilagay nyo rin dyan. It, it will help your profile too. So, that's all that I have here on my Upwork profile. Um, uh, I don't think I can add any anything else. So, ayun lang. Uh, yeah, yun lang. So, for um, for online jobs sa PH naman, um, same thing of course, basic information lang naman yung nilalagay natin dito sa ano, no, sa sa online jobs sa PH. Siyempre, gandahan nyo rin yung nakalagay dito sa taas kung ano yung ano yung role nyo or pwede nyo rin gawin dyan yung tulad ng nasa um, nasa LinkedIn, yung I help keme, ganon. <clears throat> And then, um, always, eto to, to, yung mga test na to, itake nyo to, very important tong tatlong test na to, um, IQ, DISC, and English Literacy Test, I think grammar test to, so upload nyo yung scores nyo dyan, tulad nitong sa English C2 Mastery natin, um, C2 Mastery pala yung result, no, so, ayan sa i-upload nyo yung screenshot, and then for the skill summary, as I mentioned, diba, um, same din. Kung ano nandun sa Upwork ko, ganun din yung nilagay ko dito. And then, just a short description nung nandito sa, <coughs> nandito sa ibaba. And that's it. Um, I-rate nyo yung mga, dito naman sa ibaba, yung top skills nyo. I-rate nyo lang yung mga skills nyo. Um, depending kung gaano ka, siguro, kadami yung experience nyo dun sa certain skill na yun. Um, tulad ko, for example, appointment setter, 5 stars. Data entry, just 4 stars. Um, so, ganun lang naman dito sa online jobs sa PH. And dito sa taas, you can see there's an ID proof. <clears throat> Pag uh, bakit importante tong ID proof na to? Um, for example, let's get the job, uh, let's pull up the job board. For example, this one. Um, okay, let's say this one. Uh, ID proof 50. Kapag ang ID proof mo is below 50, hindi hindi ka maka-apply dito. Naka-grade out si apply. Pero kung 50 and up siya, makakapag-apply ka dyan. So, ganun ka-importante yung um, 
<coughs> yung ID proof. And then, um, pag mababa yung ID proof nyo, click nyo lang yung ID proof and then click on read more to see how you can increase your ID proof. So, yun. Yun lang naman. Um, and then, of course, kung kailangan nyo ng help about your profile, you can click on or you can contact them. Ito yung support nila. And, uh, yan, contact us. And then, sa Upwork naman, sa ibabadi ng profile nyo, yung uh, help and support. <clears throat> so, pwede nyo silang i-contact through that. Um, and, sa iba pang, iba pang um, platform na maisasuggest ko... Uh, is free up so free up ito free up.net and then <clears throat> um um what else hub stuff talent hub stuff talent talent.hubstuff.com and Fiverr. Fiverr.com <clears throat> So, ayun. Fiverr.com Nakalogin kasi ako. Kaya ganito. So, yeah. So, those are my highly uh, um, recommended sites. Um, na talagang may, may reviews at talagang, um, yeah, may positive reviews. Yung iba kasi, I don't, hindi naman sa sinasabi ko na uh, hindi magandang platform yung iba. Pero, um, ito lang kasi yung meron akong experience na talagang maraming reviews ako nakikita na positive talaga. Sa freelancer.com, I, I don't suggest kasi marami akong nakikita ng, nagsasabi na, na scam daw. Karamihan na scam doon sa site na yun. So, ayun lang. And, uh, if you have questions, just let me know kung may maitutulong ako sa inyo. And hopefully, guys, you will take action. Kung ibaguhan ka man gusto mag-work from home, I suggest uh, take action. Not just watch um, do your part, and uh, I'm sure best is uh, to follow, diba? So, yeah, uh, good luck to you guys, and um, <clears throat> watch uh, Day 4 Challenge tomorrow. Thank you so much.